Hello everyone, welcome back to the classroom. Hi, today what we are going to talk about is audit plan and materiality. So what is this audit plan? Plan is something which we guys are aware of when you were there in two, from your childhood itself. How, I mean, how, as I can say. So, beta, dekho, CD si baat hai, simple si Hindi baasha pa samjha dao, that tumhara ko ek bandhi pasand aati hai, tum kya karte ho, pura plan bitha te. Hai na, pura plan bitha te. Is time wo tuition se nikle ki, last time mein bhaja hoonga, waha pe milunga, usko saari baat kya dunga. Right? So, suddenly what happens, everybody do have a kind of a crash. So, what happens when you particularly decide that yes, you are going to propose her, so you lay down a particular plan that yes, at this time she will leave from her home itself and she will proceed towards her coaching classes. Right? On the way itself, I'll stop her and I'll convey whatsoever is there into my mind. Sorry, whatsoever is there into my heart. Right? So, is tarih ke se tum plan bitha te. So, just like that, at that plan, during that plan, once you are over there with her, take it, tum uske saath mein. Now, at that part of time, you are going to talk about only relevant things. Right? You will not talk about or baby khana ka diya, right? You are not going to have such kind of nuisance over there. So just like that, this chapter is all about that plan and materiality. Audit planning and materiality. So first of all, we are going to talk about that what is the audit plan? How the audit is required to be carried out? What are the various kinds of techniques and procedures? Right? Techniques bhoat sari hoti, right? There are a lot of techniques you can lay down on the, uh, I mean, uh, you can bend on your knees. Right? Tum seedhe khade ho ki bhi aise kaise. There are a lot of techniques which are available. After that, there are surprise tricks as well. I will tell you more on this. I will tell you more on this. This is something which happens into your day to day life as well. So, after that, we do have materiality. And after materiality, everything will be done. That's it. Yes, this is going to be our chapter for today. Now, let's quickly move on to the chapter and let's discuss about that, what are the things which we are going to come. Oh, let us start accomplishing things one by one. Okay. So, where are you? Beta, I am there, I am there itself. But please rest assured, in your examination, you will be again getting a question from these things. And, 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 your, this teacher is already covering every kind of an RTP, right? Every kind of previous examination question paper. Every kind of question which can be there, right? You just you are just required to sit back and relax, right? And memorize the things which are going on over there into the classroom, right? Now, now talking about the very first topic, which is all about the audit procedure, or you can say the audit procedure or the audit process, whatever you want to call. Talking about this audit procedure, this gets started with the preliminary part. This preliminary part will tell you guys about that yes, that in this kind of a situation you are going to have initial disclosures with client. Initial disclosures with client. In this kind of initial disclosures, first of all you are going to find out that what is going to be the scope of audit. Right? After that the letter of engagement that yes, you are hired for conducting the audit for the client itself. Letter of engagement, you can say the letter of appointment. In this kind of a meeting with the client, you will come to know about that, yes, I am going to be the auditor, I am going to carry out the audit, that when, I mean, how much is going to be the scope of audit, after that, what are going to be the necessary things over there. But over here, in such kind of things, we are going to have, just like you have accounting standards, Right, we over there we have SA. SA refers to standards of auditing. In standards of auditing 210 and two sorry 510 510. In 210 we are going to talk about letter of engagement and 510 we are going to talk about initial engagements. Letter of engagement that was other things which are going to be over there. And 510, we are going to talk about initial engagements. What are the initial engagements which are required? What are the initial engagements which are required? After moving on to next, once these things are finalized, you will do the audit planning. You are going to carry out the audit planning. This audit, audit planning will require formulation of audit plan. 
that how what is going to be the process of conducting audit formulation of audit plan right after that in this kind of a situation you are going to lay down there will be or lay down or lay down of broad framework of conductive work broad framework of conducting work Right after that, moving on to next, we are going to talk about on to the next situation that is the method to exercise. That means which method you are going to adopt. Right. So this method should be adopted, which is going to be you can say which is going to ensure the quality of work. The method should be most suitable. Okay. and over there into your auditing standard 220 we are going to talk about the principles relating to principles relating to quality of relating to quality control in audit quality control in audit right After that, moving on to next. After that, we are going to move on to next step, which talks about internal control valuation. First of all, it is the primary work of the auditors to ensure that yes, the internal controls they are working properly and they are into force and they are properly effective. Internal control evaluation. Right. Internal control evaluation. This talks about that yes, examination and evaluation. examination and evaluation of nature extent and efficiency nature extent and efficiency of internal controls that you should be aware about that yes these are the certain kind of checks which are available moving on to next part please pause pause karo beta yahan pe Pause. Yes. Right. Now, after that, the next is all about examination of. The next is all about examination of books of accounts. Examination of books of accounts. That means it talks about that yes, there is you are in this kind of a situation under this heading or under this classification. you are going to ascertain the mathematical ascertain mathematical accuracy ascertain the mathematical accuracy of books of accounts of books of accounts right so how you are going to ascertain the accuracy you can ascertain them by checking the opening and closing balances ensuring that yes there are entries in the subsidiary registers the entries which are there into your vouchers they have been posted in the journals from journals to ledgers right casting cross casting because every entry do has a double sided effect right so you are going to check those entries as well after that moving on to next the next is vouching we are going to discuss this vouching in detail this is good this can be one of the topics for five marks but over here we are just going to write a couple of things vouching over here means examining examining the documentary evidence examining the documentary evidence that means documentary evidence is both internal and external plus authority in support of transaction authority in support of transaction right so i will tell you more on this beta vouching is not over here this is these are just a couple of lines pura elaborate karke isko samjhaunga kya hota hai abhi isko chhod do theek hai please leave it right now i will explain everything over there in today's chapter itself after that there is going to be complete sorry it's compliance verification 
compliance verification that means you are going to check the validity of transactions you are going to check the validity of transactions this validity of transactions is checked with reference to the statutory provisions of accounts and audit statutory provisions of of accounts and audit that means you have heard about audit and auditor which ranges from section 138 to section 148 of companies act 2030 the same is there with accounts which talks about accounts nfra opening reopening of accounts right voluntary mandatory everything is over there the next is rules and regulations rules and regulations rules and regulations governing the organization the organization how i mean what are the various rules and regulations i mean we don't know you guys know about it when it comes to a company a company is governed by memorandum of association if i talk about a firm that is governed by partnership deed right so that is all about the situations got it after there are some of the legal documents there are some of the legal documents that can be your annual returns that can be your contracts your agreements your prospectus prospectus remember section number 26 of companies act right now moving on to next the next is accounting standards accounting standards principles and practices the what are the various kind of accounting standards principles and practices which are adopted by your client so this is going to be a compliance verification but i hope you are not going to write anything else over here let me make the correction properly so this is compliance verification compliance word refers to that yes the laws which are applicable on to the company or the organization jitne bhi laws apply hote hain to unhone wo sare laws ko comply kiya hai properly unko fulfill kiya hai ya nahi right after this compliance verification please pause pause again very good pause karo after that we will move on to the next part which talks about the verification of assets and liabilities verification of assets and liabilities verification of assets and liabilities that means you are going to verify the existence of these assets right the ownership of these assets the various kind of values of these assets and the nature and extent of liabilities understood after that we are going to talk about overall test and overall test and analytical review the things what does this mean if i talk about overall test and analytical reviews it includes the appropriation or application of test application of test to check the reliability to check reliability of accounting records and treatments accounting records and treatments that how much reliable kitna bharosa karne layak hai aapke accounting records and treatments how much reliable they are right after that there is scrutiny of accounts there is scrutiny of accounts to establish reasonableness with legal requirements your accounts will be verified so that they, they will give you a scenario being like yes your accounts are as per the legal requirements you have adopted the double entry system and yes things are over there which are going on as per the legal requirements beta scrutiny is being like scrutiny how many of you have covered income tax income tax mota na this is scrutiny assessment just like these things are being 
carrot. Right? After that, computation of ratios takes place. Computation of ratios will take place. Computation of ratios to locate the areas. To locate the areas showing the departure from expected state of affairs. From expected state of affairs. Right? So you are going to calculate the various kind of ratios which you are already covering into your account which will give you a picture being like that yes, what are the expected state of affairs for the organization. Right? So over here if I talk about this was the audit process. Right? This was the audit process. After that this was the process being like that how you are going to propose. Right. After that, now we are going to move to the next topic. You can pause over here. Pause. The next topic or uh, the next thing which is over here is financial statement, financial statement scrutiny. This is financial statement scrutiny. Right. So. This is all about you are going to scrutinize, you are going to ensure, you are going to ensure adequate disclosure. Ensure adequate disclosure of financial information has to convey true and fair. True and fair view of financial position. So that the whatever the financial position of the company is that the, so that the shareholders will get a, a true and final view so that for that they are going to check everything in case of accounting standards legal requirements something few things over uh, related to this are also written in schedule 3 of companies at 2030 if that is a company then only this will apply if that is a partnership companies that does not apply to partnership firms Got it? Now you can, you guys can pause it. Now you guys can pause again. After that, now we are going to move further to a, all together a new topic itself. Now, so there are some kind of audit techniques. There are some kind of audit techniques. So audit techniques refers to the various kind of methods and means. Methods and means. For collection, you can say collection and accumulation of audit evidence. Accumulation of audit evidence. Right? The, there are so many techniques which are over there, but some of the common techniques which are adopted they are posting checking. Right after that, you do have casting checking. Once entries are posted, they are checked. Once they are casted, they are checked. Physical examination for assets and like for assets, particularly physical ex physical examination and counting. Right after that, there is a kind of confirmation. Confirmation which we take from external sources. Right then, it's inquiry. The various kind of things which are over there. If I talk about the inquiry itself, you can inquire it from the external sources that yes, whether these assets belong to the company or not, or if those uh, machineries are over there in the comp in the premises of company, you can check them with bank itself with their banker. Is there any kind of a loan which is being gone on to the, those kind of assets? If yes, the loan is reflecting onto your balance sheet or not, right? So after that. Bank reconciliation. Right, it's bank reconciliation statement. So these are the things which are over there. That means the various kind of methods which have been adopted. So just to get 
the audit evidences on basis of which the auditor can form an opinion that yes, the, whether the things are true, whether the uh, whether your accounts or your financial statements or you can say your financial statements are given a true and fair view or not. How many of you are getting a confusion between the audit procedure and audit technique? Is there anybody who is confused between audit procedure and audit technique? Yes, please. Now, let me show you. So this is all about if I talk about audit procedure. If I talk about audit procedure and if I talk about audit technique. Okay, if I talk about both of them. So, first of all, audit procedure is a broad framework. Audit procedure is a framework of handling audit. Framework of manner of handling audit work. Of handling audit work. That how your audit work will be taken care of. Right? Techniques refers to the methods the methods employed for carrying out procedure for carrying out procedure right so if this is your procedure then this is there these are the various methods which you are applying this is method this is method this is method 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 then it's procedure then it's procedure okay so if we talk about audit procedure they generally compromise they generally comprise compliance procedure Compliance procedure, right? That is over there being as being like uh, the next is test of details. Test of in test of details, we do have substantive procedure, which is already co covered with you guys. You guys know about substantive procedure, right? Method employed for carrying out procedure. So now moving on to next, if I talk about audit techniques. They are over there if I talk about procedure. Procedure is one after another. One, then this, then this, then this. This is over there. How the scenarios work. Right. But techniques are interdependent. As combination of techniques is applied in procedure. Of techniques is applied in procedure is applied in procedure but the technique box is coming from the front of 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 the front so that is one of the techniques that you are going to bend on your knees the next technique is you can offer you are going to offer a rose you can offer a I mean a ring as well your budget is good take a straight barat and take a straight barat over confidence right should I go ahead? Yes, please. Now, moving on to next, you guys can pause over here. The next is that why we need audit procedure. That means need or you can say relevance of procedures and techniques. Why this over there? why we need procedures and techniques what is the relevance what is the significance so first of all we need them so that we can have a evaluation of internal control this is really one of the vital aspects for an auditor what is internal control what is not this is what we are going to cover into all together a chapter itself this is why it is required right but i hope you can write lines on these them as well after that, examination of accounting records. Whatever the various kind of accounting records are over there, 
So accounting records are the basic, particularly the basis from which you are going to make the financial statements. So auditor has to report that yes, uh, I mean the, the accounting records are placed before him when he was making an opinion on when he was, uh, I mean, uh, doing his audit. The accounting records were placed before him and he has formed an opinion on the basis of those accounting records, he has framed an opinion onto the financial statements that yes, they are prepared proper. Right? Auditor is also required to check that yes, whatever the accounting records which are over here, they are maintained by the company as per law itself. Verifying authorization of transactions. Verifying authorization of transactions so what is this verifying authorization of transactions better what you will find that when it comes to there is any company if any company is giving any check so this check will have signature of two people two people are going to sign on this check why this is a verifying authorization if I mean two people are going to sign the first is Chichora and the next is the next is Babu or leave Chichora leave Chichora first let me give you a scenario being like so first baby will sign and this after that Babu will sign right so whatever the signature has been obtained from baby this will be automatically verified Babu is going to verify that yes, the signature has been done from baby. He is going to verify those things again. Right? After that, Babu will going to Babu will sign. Baby, Babu, what are the other things? Honey, sweetheart, right? You can write a lot of things as well. Abbas Hatada don't tomorrow garbal on the kya and kyakara lata mara. Abhi asin you. Right. Now moving on to next. The next is all about verification of external evidence. Better you guys know about what is verification of external evidence. Right? That is, that means the things which are not available within the organization. The data which is provided by outside the organization or you can say independent resources outside the organization. They are more reliable. This is something which you guys have already after that, compliance and substantive test. This is which you guys are already aware of. This was a total and different between. Okay, you guys are already aware of this. Got it? So that is the reason that why there is a need for procedures and techniques. Got it? Should I go ahead now? Moving on to next part, my dear student. Please pause. Now, let's talk about the one topic which was over there and which I told you guys that we are going to discuss that in detail as well. Please pause. Pause for a bit. The next is voucher. The next is voucher. Voucher is over there. Voucher is particularly a documentary evidence. Voucher is a documentary evidence. Both this can be internal, this can be external, and it is used in support of entries. Used in support of entries made in books of accounts. Books of accounts of business. Got it? So this is altogether a documentary evidence which is used in support of entries. First of all, you are going to make a voucher. Right? After that, you are going to prepare your journals, ledgers, casting entries, you are going to prepare accounts, right? So that is first of all the very basic prime of ACE. The very first step is vouchers. You are going to prepare a voucher, you are going to prepare a sales voucher, purchase voucher, right? After that, so there is every time what you will find that when it comes to preparing anything, they do have a couple of copies, right? 
so one is original one is original voucher right and after that there are some copies supporting voucher supporting voucher so original voucher are known as primary vouchers they are known as primary vouchers right and after that the supporting they are known as collateral vouchers they are known as collateral vouchers got it so if we talk about there is another bifurcation this was the first bifurcation on the basis of that uh, what is over there the next is internal vouchers internal vouchers and external vouchers so this internal vouchers are the vouchers within the entity vouchers within the entity that means within the organization got it beta this can be sales invoice this can be purchase order this can be goods received note goods received means you have placed an order at dominos right after placing an order at dominos the dominos delivered the goods right you are going to give them a goods received note that yes your goods have been successfully received but over here that is the thing is going to happen because that is for immediate payment so you have placed an order at you can say pp jewelers right you have placed an order at sir we don't like pp jewelers we will take tanish acha theek hai tanish tumne le liye ekdam ghor gehne pappi lehri banna cha rahe ho tum log ab itna paisa nahi hai pappi lehri to ban gaya paisa nahi hai usko bank ke ghum rahe ho right so over there over there if i tell you guys that after receiving the goods you are required to give them a note that yes the goods have been received bank paying slip is again an internal voucher pay in slip jab aap paisa jama karne jaate ho to wahan pe aap ek slip karte ho beta that is a pay in slip that is again an internal voucher that will work within the uh, the company itself right external vouchers are the vouchers vouchers originating vouchers originating outside the entity outside the entity simple got it right just like you do have some kind of bank statement right acknowledgement for payment you have made the payment there is a kind of an acknowledgement for that invoice correspondence purchase bills you have purchased something right you got the bill but that bill belongs to any other entity which is not your company that bill has been given to you by somebody else which is not within the which is not working in the organization or who or she is not working with the organization moving on to next please pause karo pause yes the next is vouching this is vouching sir that is one and the same thing ach 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 tumhare ko lag raha hai yahan pe teacher ke mathe pe kuch likha hai nahi na sir dikhao dikhao ye dekho kuch likha hai yahan pe is there anything which is written over here nahi na so bas theek hai i am right i am right i will tell you everything about this as well sir khud aap gaane sun rahe ho gaane nahi sun raha hu beta this is just for voice clarity this is just for voice clarity vouching over here that means it refers to examination examination of all documentary evidence of all documentary evidence which is available which is available to support genuineness of transactions genuineness of transactions before a transaction will be recorded right it voucher is prepared in client's records 
You got it? So these are documentary evidences. They are available to support the genuineness of transactions. Got it? And why this vouching is required? Why? Because first of all, why we need this? Why? Because it do has a certain kind of importance. The very first point for importance is there are some kind of basic evidences. There are some kind of basic evidences. These evidences, they are designed to obtain. They are designed to obtain evidence as to completeness. Evidence as to completeness, accuracy and validity of data. Of data produced by accounting system. Produced by accounting system. But whatever your entries are showing, whatever your entries are showing, there is a kind of voucher in support of everything. Aapne bill kata? Bill kata, that is a voucher. Got it? The next is assurance. That is assurance. So auditor is over there who needs to obtain reasonable assurance for the transactions. Assurance, by doing this you will get an assurance that all transactions are recorded in proper accounts. Recorded in proper accounts. Well, that means the transactions which are related to the receipts, you can say the income and as well as the revenue or expenses, whatever you want to classify, they have been recorded properly. The account in which they have been recorded, that is proper and the period, period refers to the time period for which they have been recorded, that is also proper. Well, after that you are going to have an assurance being like the entity. A transaction took place the transaction took place during the relevant period that yes if a transaction has been posted into a time period of let us say August the transaction should be there into August it should not be like that that it belongs to any other month that you have posted into August got it Transactions, transactions recorded would have been recorded, should have been actually occurred, should have been actually occurred. The transactions which are over there, my dear student, you are going to record them only if they have occurred. If you have done some kind of sales, they will be recorded only if the sales have been done. There should be no entries which have not been occurred. And this is going to be a straight away a fraud otherwise. You can pause now. Pause for a bit. Pause. Very good. Yes. Now. The next third point is all about that we are going to have a genuineness. If you do have something, right? You do have something being like, just say, you bank, jato, bank jato, you do have a kind of a pain slip. If the amount is, if you the same using that same pain slip, you can check your passbook, right? Beta, you you went to a bank, you deposited approximately fifty thousand rupees into your bank account. You do have pain slip for that, right? The same will get reflected onto your passbook. That is the same thing with the voucher. That pain slip is voucher and your passbook, that is your accounting transactions, right? So this will give you genuineness of transactions. Beta, whatever I am writing, you are required to elaborate every point into one, two, one, two, three lines, right? The next is validity of transactions. The auditor will come to know about the actual validity of transactions that how much 
valid transactions they are. Right? The next is all about proof of accuracy. This is a proof of substantive accuracy. Right? That just like you went to a bank, you went to a bank, you deposited 50,000 rupees. You deposited 50,000 rupees. After that, the same will get reflected into your passbook. But into your passbook, they have re reflected 5,000 rupees. Now, immediately, you can, using your passbook, you can approach to bank and you can make it 50,000 rupees. Okay? So, this is going to be a total scenario that how the things are going to work. So, your paying slip is going to act as a proof of accuracy. Right? Using that, you can make it being like 50,000 rupees. Sixth is, it is a basis for verification. Because there are so many points, I am just disclosing few points with you guys. You are not required to memorize 10, 10 points. 5-6 points hi karwa rao, bita, koshish karna aap sare karke ja. Okay? Now, moving on to next part. Now, there are two difference between. Two difference between, yes, there are two difference between, let us quickly take care of them as well. Now, the next is all about, let us take a difference between vouching and verification. So, vouching is verification, this one and the same thing, no, they are different. Right, verification, that means this term applies and vouching do applies. They do have some similarities, but there are some differences as well. Vouching refers to examination of documentary evidence. Examination of documentary evidence. The documentary evidence is vouchers. Yes, the documentary evidence is the vouchers only. They are the documentary evidences. In support of N support of transactions contained in books transactions contained in books so this documentary evidence if I talk about these are vouchers itself but if I talk about verification it refers to examination whether Essex with the assets and liabilities, whether assets and liabilities are properly stated in balance sheet, are properly stated in balance sheet, right? So they are going to check about the things related to balance sheet only. That means the assets and liabilities. But over here we are going to check about every kind of transaction. Got it? So this was the meaning or definition whatever you want to write. Got it? Samaj me aray bita thoda thoda? Thoda thoda kyun pula samaj me aray chiyo. Now, it is done. Why vouching is done? Vouching is done to check authenticity. To check authenticity of. Transactions recorded of transactions recorded in primary books of accounts. Right? So that is required to check the authenticity of the transaction in primary books of accounts. Sir, what is primary books of accounts? Okay, you guys do not know about the primary books of accounts. Your journal is the only primary book of account. Journal. Got it? Right? But when it comes to verification, this is done to check the ownership. To check ownership, valuation and existence. Valuation and existence of assets and liabilities. 
physician how much is the value who is the owner and whether your assets are existing or not so this is going to be the objective this can be one of the purpose and this can be the aim of voucher right now moving on to next so if i talk about when it comes to vouching vouching is done at point of origin that means point of origin the place from where the transaction is going to start that is the voucher itself right and if i talk about the verification the verification is done at financial statements page at financial statement page so this is all about point of view or you can say point of view yes point of view so this is origin that means we used to we used to start it from the vouchers itself got it now if i talk about voucher there are so many aspects which are taken care of and if i talk about verification the same is over there please pause moving on to next so there are so many aspects which are covered if i talk about voucher and again there are few aspects which are covered in verification talking about voucher what you will find that you are required to find out the date of voucher which will tell you that yes it belongs to the concern period after that you are going to check the proper authorization the person who has given the voucher he was or she was duly authorized or not there was supporting evidence to the voucher supporting evidence is either the bill or the chalan itself by which the payment has been made right over here if i talk about you are going to check the assets and liabilities that whether the ownership existence valuation lien they are properly presented on the financial statements or not right so after that you can also know uh, right over there he has completeness in all aspects in all aspects got it understood beta now we are going to move further where we are going to talk about the next thing pause karo pause yes very good now the next is all about the very first part over here as confirmation if i talk about confirmation and if i talk about verification they are synonyms into your normal english but they are different in origin right so confirmation means response to inquiry response to an query response to a concern query or you can say inquiry you are finding something difficult you do have a question you just whatsapp me and you get the response that is a confirmation that yes you know the sir said our teacher devi milani he said that yes this is correct so that is a confirmation okay but if i talk about verification that means examination by proper means by proper means that assets and liabilities are properly liabilities are properly stated in balance sheet stated in balance sheet and 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 income and expenditure income and expenditure is stated in profit and loss got it so if we talk about if i talk about so confirmation thus is related to applicable to specific areas specific areas so that is all about the confirmation which is required on the balance from debtors if you are showing that yes from mr c i have to take 110 crore rupees so, so the same will be confirmed from c as well so that is like confirmation from your creditors confirmation from your lenders you are telling that yes i have to give i owe rupees 
20 crore rupees to SBI bank. The same will be confirmed from SBI that yes, whether it's 20 crore or you are trying to reduce the liability or you are trying to basically mention the minimum, I mean, uh, amount with less than the actual amount of loan. Aapka loan amount is 200 crore rupees. You are just mentioning 20 crore rupees so that your balance sheet looks good. Okay. Got it. Over here, the scope is broader scope. It's much broader. Because it is restricted, it is restricted to verification of assets and liabilities. Oh. Sir, uh, you talk about that yes, debtors, debtors are debtors are also over there into balance sheet. Then. Yes, that was a common example altogether. That was a common example. So this is meaning. Got it, beta. The next is scope, and the next is objective. That why we need confirmation. So that is just to corroborate or corroborate. Corroborate evidence which provide further assurance, which provide further assurance of internal evidence of internal evidence. Well, so this is all about to check or you can say verification is all about related to all the time assets and liabilities to inquire into ownership to inquire into ownership valuation valuation existence and presentation and presentation of assets and liabilities got it yes please so verification is all the time related to assets and liabilities and with this confirmation is over there for specific areas got it now pause over here please pause pause for a bit now moving on to next part likewise now you guys are studying over here you guys are over there into your room and you are studying right suddenly what is going to happen your mom or your anybody from your family they are going to open the door and they are going to check they are going to check okay, whether you are studying actually or not or as a phone check you are studying they are going to check whether you are studying actually or not they are going to check whether you are studying actually or not so what is that? That is a surprise check. That is a surprise check. Got it? That is known as a surprise check. This surprise check, audit procedures cannot be done on regular basis onto a routine manner. Right? So, in order to carry out the audit procedures effectively, there are few kind of surprise checks which are, which may form a part of audit procedure. Right? Now, it provides flexibility. It provides flexibility. Provides flexibility and sense of surprise and sense of Surprise in manner in manner certain checks are carried out. Certain checks are carried out. Okay. So there are certain checks which are carried out that is that can be related to cash verification, that can be related to the investment verification. So there are a lot of significant, what is the significance of surprise check? The very first is it gives you audit effectiveness. Your audit becomes much effective as compared to the previous one. Right. So there is a kind of review of internal controls. There is a kind of review of internal controls. Whatever they are decided, I mean, over their surprise checks ensure that yes, internal controls are working effectively and they are working throughout the 
ईयर्स आउट डिटेक्शन ऑफ एरर्स एंड फ्रॉड्स सो मम्मी बेटा बार बार दरवाजा क्यों खोलती है इसीलिए खोलती है ताकि सो दैट योर मोम यूज टू चेक सो दैट शी इज गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट दैट येस वेदर यू आर एक्चुअली स्टडिंग और नॉट सरप्राइज है ना आफ्टर नेक्स्ट चेक मोरल चेक्स मोरल चेक्स नेक्स्ट इज सुटेबिलिटी वॉट इज द सुटेबिलिटी रेफर्स टू suitability refers to that surprise checks should be all the time i mean they should be appropriate that means surprise checks should be appropriate should be appropriate right so if i talk about there is one company which which is over there at a very large scale then you need more surprise checks If there is a very small company, then you need less surprise checks. If auditor is particularly not satisfied with the systems of uh, internal control, he is finding that yes, internal controls are not working properly. Surprise checks needs to be increased, right? Suitability. After that, there are some areas. There are some areas which are required for for with for them the surprise check is relevant. Just like cash investment. cash investment your stock that means inventory your stores your statutory registers which are required to be maintained under companies act right so that you are making the entries on daily basis or not that is required to be checked after that your surprise checks will let you know about up to date records you will come to know about that yes there are up to date records the records which are over there forming a part of prime entry they are over there with up to date they should be maintained up to date okay now this is the significance now why we need this is the significant you can say that yes what are the various advantages dekho people are too mad people are too mad Now let's do one thing. I mean, these the same things advantages can be written over there if I talk about the need for surprise check. So let's move on to let's talk about that. There is a difference between the surprise test. Okay, there is surprise test, right? And so here we are going to write the pieces. And if I talk about surprise test, and there is something which is over already over there being named as test. checks so surprise test this particularly refers to that out of routine checks out of routine checks right that is carried out that is carried out in normal course of audit out in normal course of audit right so test checking if i talk about test check this is you can say an accepted an accepted auditing procedure an accepted auditing procedure where only a part of transactions is checked transactions is checked to form an opinion to form an opinion right so over here this was the particularly the meaning or definition whatever you want to call so these are out of routine and they if i talk about test checks they are forming a part of routine nature they are into routine nature itself but surprise says they are out of routine there is a surprise element in such verification surprise element in such verification when right? so they are conducted they are conducted during normal course of audit normal course of audit 
So this is all about what is common. Common is timing. Right? So the, if I talk about the surprise checks, in surprise checks you have cash verification. What the various aspects or the areas of checking? That is cash verification. The next is investment verification. Investment verification. Right. The next is stores and stocks. Stores and stocks. That means talking about the inventories. Right. After that verification of books. Verification of books of prime entry. That means journal or books of prime entry. Right. So and after that the statutory registers which are required to be maintained including the minutes book and the various kind of registers under companies. So if I talk about areas of check, areas of checks. Well, so after that if I talk about the test checks, they are overall a check. They are check on effectiveness. They are checks on effectiveness of internal control system. Internal control system. In, right? So this is done to check the effectiveness of internal control system and surprise test is done to carry out to carry out all these things. Right? Got it? Yes, please. So beta, I'm already writing three three points over here. Make sure you are not going to leave any of these points. Now let's quickly move on to the next topic which talks about the audit program. Audit program, sir, just uh, there are a lot of programs on TV as well. No, no, I'm not talking about them. Please pause. Pause through in these. Pause. Very good. So this is the next topic is all about audit program. Audit program in such kind of an instance, what happened? This is a kind of detailed work plan. Detailed work plan and this is to carry out audit. To carry out audit and this is prepared by auditor. This is prepared by auditor. But you will find that you will not get such kind of a layout. You will not get print out. You will not get verbally. You will not get verbally. You will not get verbally. You will not get Then after that. Moving on to next. So this plan particularly provides for prepared by auditor and provides for provides for supervision supervision and control of and control of audit work so the plan which has been prepared it provides for supervision and control of audit work Got it? So this is prepared by auditor and they will tell you everything that how you are going to carry out audit. Right? So if I talk about the advantages of audit program, that is really clear. If I talk about the advantages, first of all the instructions are clear. The instructions, they are clear. Right? The extent of manner and checking out the different aspects which are related to the accounting records. The instructions are clear and you are required to move on with the instructions itself. Right? Along with this, you do have a certain kind of checklist. As they have given you a kind of a work plan for using which you are required to carry out their audit. This is a checklist of the procedures and techniques. Procedures and techniques which are required to be applied. They will tell you that yes, using this technique, we are going to conclude this audit program. After that, they will more tell you about the phasing work. Phasing work? Yes. They will tell you this is going to be our phase 1, then it is going to be our phase 2. First of all, we are going to check the vouchers. After that, we are going to check the, the journals. Then we are going to move on to the ledgers. Simultaneously, if I talk about SHF karoge, or else you are going to check it like being like that, yes, you will take one entry. Then you are going to check the vouchers. Then you are going to check the supporting elements. Then journals. Then ledgers. Then your accounts. Right, the phasing work, how the phases have been divided. After that, they will be they will tell you about selection of team members. Selection of team members, 
which the people who are i mean selected or you can say assistants or the i mean the i mean the qualified people who are selected for the jobs on the basis of their capability moreover it also provides for the supervision that plan will totally lay down the things being like that who will be acting as a supervisor and who will be over there controlling the periodic reference to the program right the plan sometimes to also provides for work review so just like whatever if a, if there's a team of being like i mean uh, uh like like being uh, six seven people so four uh, four people will be doing a work and two people they will be reviewing the work they will review they will carry out the work and rest of them they will review and one of them will be acting as supervisor the supervisor is generally a qualified person four these is done the required this these four people are generally trainees or articles you can say got it after that this also acts for future planning your current planning will be your current audit will be carried out that will be done but it also serves a purpose for future plan got it now if i talk about the responsibility i mean uh, the responsibility the instructions which are given to the concerned audit team right so over there there is a person who is assigned for the responsibility particularly known as supervisor the responsibility will lie on the person who is leading in the team itself leading team itself right that will be fixed on a team member who has signed leading team member he is going to sign his responsibility is right if you do have a kind of a program that will also give you a record of work that how and uh, what are the what is the sequence how the work has been carried on looking at the list you can easily identify that yes ye ho gaya ye ho gaya ye ho gaya aise theek hai just like you guys tend to prepare a checklist being like before your examination that these are the chapters which are left that is just being just like a program that is carried on okay now you can pause beta pause karo pause yes now there are some disadvantages this advantages why it is being like because it talk totally talks about that there is a list and you have to comply that list whatsoever is written into the list you have required to follow that but aapke paas ek list hai you have a list right there may be few things which are going to be outside the list you have everything is written over here but there may be some of the situations which are outside your list then in that situation what you are going to do it is totally a mechanical work because what whatever you are instructed to you to do you are going to follow right because mechanical work how to deal with special circumstances you do, you have no idea about it right so the, there may be some situations na how to deal with special situations how to deal with special circumstances how that will be dealt right the next is rigidity why rigidity is over there being like that yes whatever the schedule which has been shared you have to straight away follow that aapko seedha seedha wahi follow karna hai bas so that is again a constraint because there may be sometimes requirement of additional procedures you may sometimes require additional procedures depending upon situation what you are going to do now there will be false sense of security false sense of security why false sense of security because beta when it comes to some of the situations which are not over there into your list there the procedure has been laid down ye to aisi baat ho gayi the answers have been written over there but the question can be something different so false sense of security what will happen that yes the team in the team will fail to apply their mind will fail to apply their mind because they will follow straight away the instructions of being like that things are what they are lack of initiative lack of initiative lack of initiative that means independent judgment and initiative 
which are taken by lack of initiative and independent judgment by staff. By staff. बेटा गर्ल्स का तो पता नहीं बट वेन इट कम्स टू बॉयज इफ यू गाइज जनरली ऑप फॉर द ऑडिट्स विच आर आउटसाइड योर सिटी सिटी से बाहर जाओगे बहुत सारे बच्चे जाते हैं यू विल कम टू नो अबाउट पीपल आर डूइंग ऑडिट्स फॉर बिट्स पिलानी पीपल आर डूइंग ऑडिट्स फॉर योर गवर्नमेंट अथॉरिटीज आई मीन सम ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स आर ओवर देर हु आर डूइंग ऑडिट फॉर भेल 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 पूरी नहीं भेल भेल पूरी नहीं भेल पूरी नहीं अरे भेल इट्स अ गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यस सो यू विल कम टू नो अबाउट दट ये थिंग्स आर ओवर देर you will get get to know about that yes you will visit their plants you will visit everything everything aur jitna tumhe chahiye hota na jo tumhe chahiye hota sab denge wo whatever you demand that will be served on to your table you will forget to have a i mean a lunch at your home agar tum hot pe ja rahe ho tarah se hoga after that the next is lack of suitability lack of suitability over here refers to that means there are, the procedures may be wrong the procedures or the techniques which have been specified into the list they may be wrong they may be wrong they may be wrong they may be inappropriate they may be wrong or they may be inappropriate got it so if i talk about now the next thing is if i talk about this audit program it do have some disadvantages but is there any way to overcome this at these disadvantages is there any way to avoid the disadvantages of audit program kya hai koi rasta this is how a professional will advise now so ways to avoid disadvantages of audit program of uh, audit program there are so many ways to do that right so the very first point is that you can first of all is suitability so whenever we are giving a kind of an audit program to your client you are required to i mean consider for a few factors a uh, program should be program should be designed should be designed keeping in mind keeping in mind few factors few factors the very first kind of a factor is nature of business which your client does have what kind of business does he have after that the scale of operations definitely if i talk about scale of operations of patanjali and if i talk about scale of operations of bikaner sweets that is totally different that is totally different by right? the volume of transactions volume of transactions and the efficacy or you can say efficiency of internal controls of internal controls how much effective your internal controls are keeping these things in mind a auditor is required to frame his audit program after that the next is review of internal controls whatever your internal controls are if you are going to have a periodic review on them if they are viewed and they are evaluated to obtain the changes or into your internal controls right they should be reviewed on a regular basis so that you came to know about that yes they are effective but how much effective they are they are 50% effective 70% effective or 100% effective right changed business operations changed business operations if a company was over there right if i talk about anjali ka pati sir it's patanjali no beta it's anjali ka pati anjali ka pati was over there first of all in medicines right now they have moved on into apparels as well right they have moved on into apparels as well wo apparels kapdon mein bhi aa gaye dheere dheere sab kuch de denge baba ramdev sab na cha rahe ho na thoda thoda usse relate kar raha hu okay kaise sunte ho ha 
for after that after some time they have moved on into apples they will give you a lot of things wo to class thodi tumhare ko batana a rated nahi hai samajh mein aa rahi hai so better they have changed their business operations you can say they have diversified their business the more diversification sir wo patto wale kapde aayenge kya beta mere ko nahi pata do so they have changed their business you should be aware about the change into the business operations so that you can make moderate program much more effective right there may be business may be changed may be expanded or that may be diversified that may be changed that may be diversified depending upon the situation to situation a auditor should be aware about the client's company if you want to give the audit plan which is going to be super effective right now should i go ahead beta please pause please pause now so what you will feel like that yes there should be a participative approach if i talk about the artist uh, the articles right if i talk about the articles they do not they never used to take a kind of an initiative ki theek hai kuch galat ho raha hai to jaake sir ko batao ki sir this is something which i am unable to understand you will hardly find any of the reason behind that as well right so artic participative approach by assistance for suggestions you will tell them about the mistakes but you are not going to give any kind of suggestions wo pata kya bolega beta tumhari galti nahi hai hamesha hamesha from the time of you can say from our independence itself har ek insaan ko lagta hai uska boss jo hai wo gadha hai tumhari galti nahi hai isko this is a myth which is going on वो वो गधा है और वो गधा बहुत बन गया तुम है, तुम एकदम बीरबल और तुम पीछे रह गए पार्टिसिपेटिव अप्रोच आफ्टर दैट इट्स फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी दे शुड बी फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी आई मीन द ऑडिट प्रोग्राम शुड नॉट बी लाइक बीइंग लाइक इट्स स्टीडियो टाइप नो दे शुड बी अ रिविजन ऑफ दिस ऑडिट प्रोग्राम टाइम टू टाइम रिविजन ऑफ प्रोग्राम विच यू हैव अडॉप्टेड टाइम टू टाइम revision will take place because there may be some of the material changes which have taken place right and after that there should be a minimum requirement there should be a kind of a minimum requirement of test which are required to be carried out that right that this this time we are going to have the test that depending upon the nature of the business and the volume of transactions a auditor is required to do the test which are required okay got it yes please now while giving audit plan so this is all about disadvantages how they can be overcome this is all about audit program advantages disadvantages how you can avoid disadvantages okay now please pause pause karo beta you can pause over here yes please now the next is there is an auditor right there is a person who is an auditor auditor is the concerned person who is going to give the audit program he will give the audit program he will give the audit program and that audit program is taken care of by his team members while making this audit program while making this audit program the auditor is required to consider few matters he is required to consider few matters those matters which are over there what are these following matters which are required to be taken care of while making audit program so first of all the very first point is terms of engagement engagement beta over here means appointment it does not mean the engagement ceremony or responsibilities of auditor of auditor got it after that the nature and timing of report nature and timing of report 
12th report or other communications at which point of time you are going to submit your audit report applicable legal or statutory requirements applicable legal requirements just write legal requirements they will cover everything applicable legal requirements right accounting policies adopted by clients Adopt, adopt accounting policies adopted by client. Which policy they have adopted? Plus changes, if any, do they, are there any kind of changes into their accounting policy? Right? Got it? Now, after that, if they have made any changes, what is going to be the effect of those changes? Identification of audit areas. of audit areas right that what are the following areas where the audit is required right setting up setting of materiality levels levels for audit purposes so what are the various materiality levels? Sir, what is materiality? That is, our, that, that is my next topic. I will tell you everything on that. So what are the various materiality levels? Right? After, the, after that, conditions for special attention. Conditions for special attention. Special attention means the probability of having the fraud into certain kind of, I mean, you can say, transactions or if you if you talk about the directors or the people who are holding the substantial interest into a couple of companies they are the substantial owners into holding as well as subsidiary in both of them they are substantial owners right or degree of reliance sir reliance reliance geo nahi nahi beta reliance means how much reliable they are how much trustworthy degree of reliance of auditor, no, uh, degree of reliance auditor expects from accounting system and internal controls and internal controls. How much the accounting system and the internal controls are effective, are trustworthy? What does the auditor believe? How much are they trustworthy in their accounting systems? Sometimes it's not just all the money. If I talk about the scams, there are some scams. Right? So in that situation, automatically the reliance is going to decrease. Got it? Yes, please. After that, rotation of rotation of specific audit areas. Whatever the audit areas which you have selected, they are going to be same all the time or they are going to rotate as per the requirement. So company was over there into medicines, now they have switched on to your apparels. So you are going to make the rotation according. You are going to make the rotation according. Well, now moving on to next part. The next is involvement of experts. That is sufficient now. You have 10 points now. Involvement of experts. How many experts are required? At a lot of times what you will find that yes, in order to carry out the audit, they need a firm of approximately 7 people. They need 7 auditors. There should be seven professionals out of which three people should be over there who are going to carry out the audit. Right? After that, establishing and coordinating. Establishing and coordinating staff requirements. Coordinating staff requirements. Got it? Yes, please. Got it, Peter? Understood? Now, moving on to next. So, it's, it's all about coordinating staff requirements. 
कहीं भी चले जाना किसी भी किसी के भी पास चले जाना दे विल टेल यू कि हाँ यार हमारे यहाँ ऑडिटर आते ना हम बड़ी सेवा करते हैं बेटा इतनी सेवा तुमने अपने घर में माँ बाप की नहीं करी होगी जितनी वो तुम्हारा करता है बेचारा प्यार तक दबाने को पड़ जाता है ढंग का ऑडिटर हो अगर तुम तो पर थोड़ा उससे प्यार मोहब्बत बना के रखना तभी वो तुम्हारे पैर पड़ेगा वरना अगली बार ऑडिट ही नहीं देगा थोड़ा प्यार मोहब्बत बना के रखना पड़ता है चले ना मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट पॉइंट पॉज करो पॉज यस मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट पार्ट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक फॉर टे इज मेटीरियलिटी वॉट इज दिस मेटीरियलिटी इन सो अकाउंट स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ ऑडिटिंग और यू कैन से ऑडिटिंग स्टैंडर्ड वन इट टॉक्स अबाउट मेटीरियलिटी विच टॉक्स अबाउट डिस्कलोजर ऑफ अकाउंटिंग पॉलिसी डिस्कलोजर ऑफ अकाउंटिंग पॉलिसी they have given the definition of materiality they talks about that yes materiality is something this is one of the easiest definition which i am sharing with you guys there are some different i mean difficult definitions as well but it's okay you just you are just required to i mean uh, refer them as well that is they are sufficient items items knowledge of which knowledge of which may influence knowledge of which may influence the decision of users the decision of users of financial statements of financial statements so if i talk about that yes if the information is going to be shared then their influence is going to change if these items are over there if they are disclosed the decision of the users of financial statements they are going to change so if you do have a loan of approximately 2000 crore rupees and you are showing it being like 1000 crore rupees this is going to affect the decision so you can also write it being like information is material information is material if it's miss statement if it's miss statement could influence could influence if that could influence the economic decisions the economic decisions of users taken on basis of financial information taken on basis of financial information got it understood so if 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 you are not going to disclose it or if you are going to make any of the mis statements that can influence the decision if there is somebody if there is a bank right you to you have conveyed or else your balance sheet talks about that yes you do have a loan of 500 cr and your assets are over there for 1500 cr the bank is really happy right looking at the statement because but this is a mis statement the actual statement is there is 200 2500 crore rupees of loan and Fifteen hundred crore rupees of assets. The bank will not be happy. The bank will not be happy. Previously, the bank was happy. Yes, the assets are too much and the liabilities are too low. Got it? Yes, please. Now, the materiality. This is the definition. This does not have any kind of relevance with the for this uh, standards of auditing. Okay? This is just the definition which has been given. So, if I talk about, if I talk about that. there are some implications there are few applicabilities of laws or you can say the legal sanctions which are applicable on materiality they are so okay first of all let us talk about the need of materiality please pause pause karo beta pause very good yes so now next is need of materiality why there is a need of materiality 
why there is a need of materiality. So need of materiality, first of all, it being a fundamental concept. It's first of all a fundamental concept which talks about the concept of, this is fundamental concept to recognition. You can recognize. Next is aggregation. The next is classification. Aggregation, classification. And then it's presentation of financial instrument. Fin presentation of financial information of financial information this is fundamental fundamental concept to process of right because if i talk about recognition you are recognizing something you are going to recognize the material things if i talk about the aggregate itself then again you are going to find out the material things classification of material things right so if I talk about the next part, that is effect on effect on audit risk. So if I talk about materiality, the auditor is required to consider the materiality because whenever it comes to there is something which is material, something which is material or any transaction, any voucher, any, I mean any transaction which is material and you are going to leave it or you have skipped it you have omitted that then the risk is going to increase you have not included them right so the relationship of risk with materiality that is going to increase if you have not included the material parts right got it so this is something which I am not finding suitable. You guys have noted it down. Pause for me. Pause. Pause. Yes, beta. Pause. Now, moving on to next. So, if I talk about materiality, if I talk about materiality, so this, but first of all, it depends upon case to case. It varies from the nature and uh, the timing and the extent of audit procedure and with the effect of misstatement. So first of all you are going to materiality for everything is different. So on materiality we have standards on auditing. Standards on auditing. They are issued by ICAI. Issued by ICAI. So they apply to the items which are material and significant to the relations of the and after that we do have second schedule we do have second schedule to to it's not institute it's chartered accountants act 1949 right so if i talk about this they are there are also also references to the material fact material misstatement material exceptions material departures right so this is all about the second schedule this also applies and if I talk about the companies at schedule three of companies of companies at 2030. This is also applicable. So these are the things which are applicable on the materiality. Right? So this schedule three talks about that where is any item. It talks about that yes, if there in profit and loss account there is, should be separate disclosure there should be separate disclosure of every item of every item in profit in in profit and loss account if in, if that is either an income or that is either an expenditure ya to beta income hai ya to expenditure hai that is exceeding exceeding 1% of total revenue 1% of total revenue or 1 lakh rupees whichever is higher 
If any transaction is over there which is exceeding that amount, then that should be classified over there as well. But if that is exceeding 1% of total revenue or 1 lakh rupees, whichever is higher, whichever is higher, you are going to make a separate disclosure of such kind of income or expenditure into profit and loss account. Got it better? This is written into schedule 3. Well, now how one can find out? How one can find out that yes, this is a material, uh, this is a material transaction, this is a non-material transaction. कैसे पता लगाओ क्या? पता कैसे चलता है? कि that this is material, that is not material. कैसे पता चलेगा? Let me tell you. Pause करो. Pause. Very good. Pause. Yes. Now moving on to next. So there are few indicators of materiality. On these are the general considerations, although it depends from size to size. It matters from size to size. So materiality is all about the size and nature of item, which is over there forming the part of Miss Staples. So there are some general considerations which I am writing down over here. So the very first is value or amount of value, amount of transaction. value or amount of transaction that is something which is over there that can be judged so if i talk about i mean a small business 1000 rupees can be in material if i talk about a giant business even 10 10000 rupees 1 lakh rupees may not be material that depends upon business right percentage analysis percentage analysis Right, so percentage comparisons, they are useful in uh, that uh, materiality. That also depends upon the size to size. So over here, I have just given you an example being like 1%. So that is something which fits over here. There is a transaction which is more than 1% of the total revenue. That is material. That is material. Okay. The impact on overall, impact on overall figure of profit and loss profit and loss so let me give you a scenario your profit is 500 crore rupees right so your profit is 500 crore rupees right so in that kind of a situation right in that kind of a situation from where you are getting your maximum profit you are getting your maximum profit for a company named as xyz right out of this, you are getting your 200 crore rupees profit from XYZ. So this is again material. If you are getting 20 rupees profit from XYZ, this is not material. How much is going to be the impact on the figures of profit and loss? Next is previous year's figures comparison. Previous year's figures comparison. Right, so my company name is ABC. I'm doing business with XYZ. Uh, in the year 2001, 02, 03, the business was there for 50 CR, now 100 CR, now it has raised to 200 CR. So I'm going to have a track record, I'm going to have a bird eye view on the previous year figures comparison. Got it? Right, now the next is. Pay attention, beta, dhyan se dekhna. Minor deviation, minor deviation from statutory requirement, from statutory requirement. Let me give you a very simple example. So, statutory requirement over there in section number 198. This talks about the managerial remuneration, that how much amount is required to be paid to a director. So this gives you a figure of 11% maximum in case of a public company can be given to the people as a part of managerial remuneration. You have exceeded the figure. You have given 1000 rupees extra. So that is again a non-compliance. That is a non-compliance. You have just exceeded by rupees 1000. This is just a minor deviation. But this is a beyond the statutory requirement. And this has caused an non-compliance next is right the next is okay <clears throat> estimation errors 
estimation errors and determinable amounts. Determinable amounts. So you were writing over there a figure being like 500 crore rupees, but you have by mistake you have written over there at 5000 rupees. So that is just a very small amount, but just by a minor mistake, what you have done, the total figure has changed. Sir, be careful, only talk to you. I know. Things are so simple, I feel like I'm writing in my mind. So that is all about if my item can be over there precisely and objectively, a small error may be material, right? If I talk about the provision for bad and doubtful debts, you have maintained it at five crore rupees, but somebody by mistake that was for five crore rupees. Somebody has written five five, right? So that can be one of the situations as well. So okay, okay, that is done. That is done. Now let's quickly move on to the next topic, which talks about the work approach. That how you are going to carry out your work methodology, or else let me give you a simple topic. Let me give you a simple topic. Pause, come on, pause. Now, so a auditor, a auditor is required to do audit. Will carry out audit. Now he can take the information. Where he will get the information? From where he he is going to get the information? Okay, I am getting the very simple. I mean, uh, the very simple answer with being like within the organization, the internal one, within organization. Very good. जिस जिस कोई याद था बहुत अच्छी बात है। The next is, the next is, yes, outside the organization. Yes, now it comes to outside organization. So what he is going to do? He is going to approach those people. How from? I mean, what are the various sources of getting the information? Right. So that is all about sources of information. Sources of information about client business. So, from where he can, from where an auditor can get the information. So, the very first is the annual report. The annual report. I'm not talking about annual return. Annual report, board report, section 134 of Companies Act. Annual report which has been forwarded to shareholders. Minutes of meeting. Minutes of meetings. These meetings can be board meeting, beta. They can be board meeting. The meeting of board of directors. They can be meeting of shareholders. That is known as a general meeting, right? This can be a meeting of committees. The various committees which are associated over there, minutes of meeting, and after that, if I talk about the next is internal financial management records, internal financial management records, the records which are maintained by the management internally, right? For current and previous periods, that can also be obtained. Previous years audit by your previous. Years, audit, working papers. What you will find when the trainees they are going to visit now, they are going to maintain a list of their doubts which they have. They are going to maintain a list. Ki yar, ye ye ye, ye sari galti hai. Ye batao. We need clarification. So that is all about the audit working papers. Just like you guys tend to make some kind of, I mean, working notes when it comes to any question from accounts, financial statement, financial management. Sorry. यहाँ सब में वर्किंग नोट्स बनाते हो ना जस्ट लाइक दैट जस्ट लाइक दैट राइट नाउ क्लाइंट्स पॉलिसी एंड प्रोसीजर्स मैनुअल व्हाट आर द वेरियस टाइम्स ऑफ पॉलिसीज व्हिच हैव बीन अडॉप्टेड बाय योर क्लाइंट राइट दैट मी क्लाइंट बेटा यू आर ऑडिटर नाउ यू हैव टू थिंक फ्रॉम ऑडिटर्स पॉइंट Clients' premises, clients' premises and facilities. Right? 
right? Got it? Now, 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 now. You after these are the things from where you can get the information. You can straight away approach your client itself. You can approach their staff itself. They are going to provide the information. Our client ko paklos kida ki sir, we have, hamay yeh chiz hoti zarur hai. They are going to provide the information. They are bound for that. Unko yeh karna hi pade. Got it? Now moving on to next. Now, there is an auditor may have a kind of discussion with the client. He can have a discussion with the client itself, and this this discussion this discussion may include this discussion may be about changes in management. Changes in management, or you can say the organization structure. Organization. structure after that this may also be related to comma activities of client activities of client after that this is also related to i mean the current government the current business developments what are the current business developments of client right current financial it's financial oh i'm sorry i'm sorry the chapter is just about to end we are not left with uh, a lot of things we are just left with few things now current financial or accounting problems or accounting problems right there are some of the accounting problems there may be some of the financial problems but what are the issues which your client is already facing but there are few services which are from which uh, you cannot give them that is over there in section 144 of companies act wo mat de dena warna phas jao right existence of substantial existence of substantial owners of business existence of substantial owners of business or you can say the interested party is there an interested party the interested party they have disclosed their interest or not okay new or close premises new premises close premises premises and plant facility what about the plant facility do you have provided any kind of new plants or i mean if there is something are there any new plants or is there anything that the plants have been closed right changes in technology which they have adopted changes in technology which they have adopted right the type of products which they are making this is quite good to understand the business type of products type of distribution method that how they are selling it they are selling it straight away you could buy it being patanjali or they are selling it being using i mean uh, your what you call it as that i mean using some websites being like amazon aajkal to growers bhi growers se mangwa dete hain right after that changes in accounting policies changes in accounting policies right after that scope and uh, okay assistance of client staff assistance of clients person person in data preparation in data preparation right so these are the things which can be discussed with the client while you are doing i mean when you are getting the information these are the things which you can straight away demand from the client itself which you can straight away demand from the client itself got it but if i talk about the audit approach right if i talk about these are the things this is all about the information that how you are going to get the information the approach is something different that approach is how you are going to deal right so please pause karo yaar pause
पॉज वेरी गुड थक गए हम छोटे छोटे बच्चे इतना तो जा रहे हो हमारे को इतने कितनी देर होगी ये अच्छा ठीक है कर लिया मैंने ड्रामा कर लिया तुम्हारी साइड पर फूल बैठो सो ऑडिट अप्रोच If I talk about audit approach, नहीं होती है क्लास तो श्योर करती हूँ क्लास नहीं हो रही है क्लास नहीं हो रही है अब क्लास हो रही है तो एक बारी में सर एक चैप्टर खत्म कर रहे हैं बेटा यू जस्ट हैव अप्रोक्सीमेटली ट्वेंटी फाइव चैप्टर आई विल ट्राई टू कम्प्लीट एवरीथिंग विद इन ट्वेंटी फाइव क्लासेस हाँ कोशिश पूरी है बाकी देखो सो ओवरऑल ऑडिट अप्रोच ओवरऑल ऑडिट अप्रोच सो वॉट इज टॉक्स अबाउट द ऑडिटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हुर इज अपॉइंटेड एज एन ऑडिटर टू कैरी आउट द ऑडिट It is his duty to give a true and fair picture of financial statements, right? So, if I talk about okay, auditor is required to give opinion on give opinion on truth and fairness of financial statements. and they are compliance with and they are compliance with statutory provisions and they are compliance with statutory provisions and they are required to disclose the things being on so they are going to ensure that whatever the financial statements they are prepared they are true and they are absolutely correct right after that they are going to ensure that they yes there is proper maintenance there is proper maintenance of accounting records and other records other records being like the various kind of registers and returns which are required to be maintained right the registers and returns which are required to be maintained so while giving this opinion these things are required to be achieved by the auditor itself right for giving such kind of a true view and ensure these kind of things the auditor is required the auditor should determine should determine whether the very first point is All assets and liabilities are properly stated. Are properly stated, right? I mean the things which are over there, as per the as per time period, and they belong to the concern time period, right? It should not be like the asset has been disposed of and you are writing it back. right security for assets security for sorry liabilities are properly disclosed if you have taken a loan from somebody right you have taken a loan from somebody and in respect of that you have given some kind of assets aapne kuch assets usko diye so for that situation that is a kind of security which is provided right then its statutory provisions then its statutory provisions the rules and regulations rules and regulations or documents under law documents under law are duly created and complied that means whatever the things which are required under the law whether they are some kind of documents whether they are some kind of registers returns whatsoever is required they are properly duly fulfilled duly complied means jo manga hai wo humne diya got it please pause pause karo beta very good now the next is income and expenditure income and expenditure is properly classified or oh sorry it should be are properly classified 
they should be properly classified disclosed and properly matched and properly matched that they relate to a period that yes they are reported into reported in period in which they occur they occur sir what does it mean reported in the period in which they occurred you have earned a profit of 5000 crore rupees in the last month but you are saying it that throughout the year you were earning 5000 crore rupees such marketing tricks are not going to work over here. All contingencies, you do have a contingency reserve. All contingency and commitments are totally and commitments are disclosed. Right. First of all, there are no material omissions in financial statements. No material omissions in financial statements right and after that there is no error in disclosing no error in in disclosing reporting of reporting of income reporting of expenses Whatever you have disclosed, that is perfectly fine. Assets and liabilities. Assets and liabilities. Created in financial statements. Created in financial statements. So that is all about the total scenario that how the things are going to work when you are going to have better these things are required to be mentioned in audit approach. Do remember what question demands. Jo question demand karega, agar wahi likhte ho, automatically the presentation is going to be super. Okay, but you have to look after what the question is demanding. Everything over here I'm making them a part of being like question and answer. So you are required to just go through with the topic properly. Right? So if I talk about sales, the everything is going to be classified as per sales. For balance sheet items, the things are going to be different. Right? The degree of risk, type of risk, the internal control systems, evidence, judgments. Right? How? Now, moving on to the next part. So methods of work, I mean, okay, so there are a few things being like, what are the control points, right? What are the control points and when an audit is required to be carried out in a systematic manner, then what are the control points? You may get a question being like 3.4.3, okay. Eight point seven two nine six. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was there into something else. I was there into something else. So, now moving on to Next, let me check if the question can be there, then uh, we will share that with you. Just give me a moment, huh? just give me a moment. Okay, now let me quickly move on to the topic being like instructions before commencing work. Before commencing work. That means before starting your work, what are the various kind of instructions which are over there and which are required to be duly complied, right? You can write it as the person in charge, PIC, beta PIC is person in charge of accounts, of accounts, of audity. Audity means your client. Auditor means you guys. Audity means your client. May be instructed. May be instructed. To keep. Ready. The following. Ready. The following. The very first is documents. Documents over here refers to MOA. Articles of Association, Memorandum of Association, Contracts, various kind of agreements, Contracts, 
egg remains, registers which are required, returns which are required, minute book, everything which you guys have covered. That is covered into documents. After that, accounts list. The various kind of accounts maintained by company. The various kinds of accounts maintained by company. Okay. After that, moving on to accounts. After that, the next is management. What does it mean by management? That means list of management officials. That who are the people who are appointed as a director. List of management officials. Got it? That who are the various people who are appointed into your company. Got it? From management, then it's accounting policies. Accounting policies. That means what are the various accounting policies which are adopted by a company? Which are adopted by company itself. Got it? Should I go ahead now? Please pause. Pause for a bit. Pause. Yes, pause. Now, the next is all about vouchers arrangement. Because vouchers are going to be the only thing which is prepared first of all and after that rest of the things are prepared. All vouchers are required to be arranged properly. If something is missing, then you are going to have a comment and that person, account manager, is going to submit their comments on that. Right? Schedules. Schedules to financial statements. Schedules to financial statements. I'm talking about, achha, have you ever seen that kind of, I mean, balance sheet? Dekhi hai kabhi? Aapko balance sheet padni aati hai? There are some notes to balance sheet. There are some notes which are given along with the balance sheet. Vahaan se bita balance sheet padhi jati hai. Balance sheet aise nahi padhi jati hai, jaise tum log abhi banate ho. Balance sheet is required to be learned or required to be, you can say, understood from the notes itself. Right? Then it's scheduled to financial statements that can be example debtors, that can be debtors, that is fixed assets, that is fixed assets, that is depreciation, that is outstanding expenses. Right? So the schedules which are over there. And after that, the various kind of evidences. The various sir, evidences are required to be collected by auditor. No, evidences over here refers to documents relating to contracts. Documents of contracts. Right? They may be related to list of immovable property. List of property plus your, that property belongs to you. That is the along with ownership papers. Along with ownership papers. Right? If you do have any kind of an investment, the confirmation of that investment as well. If you have the investment in bank, then the bank will give confirmation deka that yes, this person is holding a kind of investment with our bank itself. Got it? Congratulations, the chapter is over, ladies and gentlemen. The chapter is over. Right? Now, now we are done. We will catch you guys into the next classroom. Next classroom means, yes, we are, we are going to talk about, I mean, altogether a new topic. Yes, Achha, beta, whatever the questions which are demanded, I am covering everything with you guys. You are not required to remember anything apart from that. Just go through with the notes. They are self-sufficient to crack the examination. You can pass easily, but just make sure that where I have written one line, you can write two or three lines. Mein likhwa. Okay? I am covering everything with you guys. Everything, everything. Now, bye bye. Take care. Take care of yourself. We'll catch you in next class. Bye. Jao, yaar. Jaate nahi jao. Jao. Bye bye.